25 years old, also showing signs of the condition of vampirism mentioned. Archaeologists have unearthed something startling, a 5,000-year-old grave that holds a unique artifact. They shockingly discovered the remains of 16 strange human hands in four graves in the compound. At least 13 people who were present at the tomb's opening died soon after, and a rumor about the curse of the pharaoh. There are many strange and mysterious artifacts that have been uncovered by archaeologists. From cursed objects to ancient rituals, these are the most terrifying discoveries made by archaeologists. There's no question that archaeologists play a crucial role in uncovering our past, but some of the things they unearth can be downright bone-chilling. When these bold scientists discover something they shouldn't, it can quickly turn from a daily scientific discovery to a disturbing nightmare. From weird painted figures that might just be proof of aliens visiting our ancestors to strange and bizarre bodies that prove we're not alone and giants might have once roamed the earth? These are the most terrifying discoveries made by archaeologists. Our experts have scoured the globe to bring you tales of terror and the creepy artifacts that lie just beneath the surface. So prepare to dig deep and join us on a journey through some of the most spine-tingling and hair-raising discoveries in archaeology history. Headless Vikings. The mortal remains, together in death. We did have complete bodies, minus the heads, of course. Their secrets lost to the world. Let's travel to one of the most mysterious and terrifying archaeological sites in the world, the mass grave of the Headless Vikings in Dorset, England. In 2009, archaeologists made a chilling discovery while digging along the side of a road in Dorset. Underneath the surface, they found a mass grave containing the remains of 54 Headless Viking mercenaries. But what led to their gruesome fate? At first, it was believed that they were executed by the local villagers in a fit of revenge. However, further examination of the bones showed that the execution was done with precise sword blows, not the typical chaotic pattern of a mob. This led to the theory that the Vikings were instead sacrificed by someone in a ritualistic manner. But who would have carried out such a brutal ritual? Some speculate that it could have been a Viking leader trying to appease the gods or gain their favor. Others believe it may have been a local pagan community trying to protect their land. Whatever the reason, it's clear that these Viking mercenaries met a gruesome end. Today, the headless Vikings of Dorset remain a haunting mystery, leaving us to wonder about the dark rituals and beliefs of our ancient ancestors. Screaming Mummy. The Frenchman is loosening the covers of mummified human remains found deep within a sacred temple compound. Meet the infamous Screaming Mummy, the terrifying discovery that left even seasoned archaeologists unsettled. In 1886, French archaeologist Gaston Massero made a chilling discovery in a simple burial box in Egypt. Upon opening the sarcophagus, he found the perfectly preserved mummified body of a man, bound and wrapped in sheepskin with his jaw open in a silent scream. It is believed that this man may have been tortured or poisoned before being buried alive. As the ancient Egyptians believed, this was a form of punishment for the afterlife. However, some speculate that he may have been cursed by someone with powerful magic. Others believe that the man may have been a criminal or outcast, as the sheepskin and bound hands and feet were considered unclean by the ancient Egyptians. Whichever it may be, the screaming mummy continues to be a haunting reminder of the ancient Egyptian culture and their beliefs about death and punishment. One of the most prominent theories is that he was an assassin who killed himself rather than face capture and torture by his enemies. Whatever the truth, the screaming mummy remains a spine-chilling and mysterious discovery that has fascinated people for over a century. Mount Owen Claw. This thing. Oh, great, there's a monster in the caves. And if it's lost a hand, I doubt it's gonna be friendly. All the way back in 1986, a team of archaeologists set out to explore the caves beneath Mount Owen in New Zealand. Little did they know, they were about to make a discovery that would make their spines tingle. While excavating a path between two caves, they came across a pile of bones still attached to a mysterious claw. At first, the team was terrified, thinking they had stumbled upon some sort of monstrous creature. But upon further examination, it was revealed that the bones belonged to a flightless bird called the Upland Moa, which went extinct around 3,000 years ago. Ago. While not as horrifying as originally thought, this discovery still serves as a reminder of the creatures that once roamed the earth and how vulnerable we all are to extinction. What made it even creepier was how well this claw was preserved, leading to many people believing that the bird might not be so extinct after all and could still be lurking in the depths of the mountain. If this was the case, these archaeological explorers should just be glad they didn't come face to face with a real-life creature like the ones from their worst nightmares. Amazon. 
archaeologists have unearthed something startling, a 5,000-year-old grave that holds a unique artifact. Wrapped around the neck of a Bronze Age body is what appears to be part of a cloak. Everyone has heard of the fierce race of Amazonian warrior women from Greek mythology. But what if they were more than just a myth? Archaeologists in Russia have uncovered the remains of four female skeletons that suggest Amazons were real-life warrior women. Their discovery suggests that the stories of the Amazons may have been based on real female warriors who lived in the 4th century BCE. Not only did they find the skeletons of these women, but also artifacts facts such as gold-plated headpieces, iron arrowheads, and horse harness elements. This discovery challenges the belief that the Amazons were nothing more than fantasy and shows that these warrior women may have had a real influence on ancient Greek ideas and culture. The Amazons may have been a relic of the past, but their legacy lives on in the minds of those who study and discover their history. The truth behind these warrior women is one that continues to capture our imaginations and challenge our understanding of the past. For a while, people have assumed that myths about the Amazons that the Greeks told were just fantasy, said an ancient history expert. Now we have proof that those women did exist. 20 Coffins Archaeologists have discovered more than 20 ancient wooden coffins near the Egyptian city of Luxor. Let's travel to Egypt, where archaeologists have just discovered a tomb in Luxor containing 20 sealed coffins. Each coffin is intricately decorated and stacked in a multi-level tomb, making it one of the largest and most important discoveries of recent times. The coffins are well preserved, with the inscriptions still intact. This find sheds light on the burial practices of ancient Egyptians and gives us a glimpse into their beliefs and traditions surrounding death. But what makes this discovery even more chilling is the fact that the underground tomb was seemingly undisturbed for thousands of years. Who knows what secrets and mysteries lie within these coffins as archaeologists continue to uncover more of Egypt's ancient past. We can only hope that this find will bring us closer to understanding the lives and beliefs of those who came before us. But for now, the 20 sealed coffins in Luxor remain a mysterious and chilling reminder of the ancient world. And with the current undisclosed nature of the historical period of the tomb, who knows what other terrifying discoveries may await us in the future, or even what these tombs may contain? Sir John Franklin Story of Franklin's Lost Expedition in 1845. If you want to stay up at night, look no further than the doomed Franklin Expedition of 1845. Led by Sir John Franklin, this expedition set out to discover more of the Arctic, but ended in tragedy. After their ships became stuck in ice and they were forced to abandon them, the crew embarked on a treacherous journey across the frozen tundra. But as supplies ran low and the harsh conditions took hold, some turned to the ultimate act of desperation, cannibalism. Evidence of this can be seen in the cut marks found on some of the bones of the expedition members. Beyond the horrific act of cannibalism, there is also the question of what led to the crew's demise in the first place. Some say it was due to a lack of experience in Arctic exploration, while others believe there may have been lead poisoning due to the tin food cans used on the ships. Still, others believe that they discovered some creature or advanced life form they shouldn't have, and it led to their ultimate doom. Whatever the truth may be, the Franklin Expedition remains one of the most disturbing and mysterious events in history. Sunken Skull's Tomb and at least 10 other adults and an infant had been deposited in the lake below them. In 2009, archaeologists found something they shouldn't have while excavating the dry lake bed in Matala, Sweden. A mysterious stone structure and 10 8,000-year-old skulls belonging to different people of varying ages. But what's truly disturbing is that many of these skulls had been impaled with stakes, and fragments of the other skulls were deliberately lodged inside the cranium of one of the skulls. This grisly discovery has left researchers puzzled and disturbed. Some theories suggest a possible sacrifice or violent ritual, while others suggest the skulls could be evidence of an ancient belief in the physical connection between the head and the soul. Whatever the reason may be, the tomb of the sunken skulls in Sweden continues to be a chilling reminder of the dark and mysterious practices of our prehistoric ancestors. With many of the skulls still intact, it's a haunting sight that leaves us with more questions than answers about the purposes and beliefs of ancient civilizations. Could these skulls hold the key to understanding our past? One thing's for sure, the tomb of the sunken skulls is a spine-tingling discovery that will continue to fascinate and terrify us for years to come. Pit of Hands They shockingly discovered the remains of 16 strange human hands in four graves in the compound. 
Let's travel to Egypt, the land of ancient pharaohs and mysterious tombs. In 2018, archaeologists made a shocking discovery in the ancient city of Avaris. During the excavation of a 3,600-year-old palace, they unearthed four pits filled with severed human hands. But what makes this discovery even more disturbing is that two of the pits were located right outside the throne room, leading researchers to believe that these hands were an offering to the ruler. This is a chilling reminder of the brutality and violence that often took place in ancient civilizations where enemies were decapitated and their hands cut off as trophies. It also sheds light on the practice of ancient Egyptian soldiers bringing back the hands of their enemies to present to their king. This eerie discovery is a grim testament to the bloody past of Egypt and the unforgiving nature of its rulers. According to historians, this horrific practice took place for many years, and so it wouldn't be surprising if there were hundreds more pits like this one scattered across the land, waiting to be discovered and uncover even more grisly secrets. Frankenstein Skeletons The skeletons were approximately 3,000 years old and had been intentionally mummified. Let's travel to Scotland, where two perfectly preserved skeletons were discovered by archaeologists. At first, it seemed like a lucky find, but upon further examination, it was discovered that the skeletons were not what they seemed. The two skeletons, a man and a woman, were actually made up of bones from six different individuals and had been put together in a painstaking process. This led to the theory that someone had purposely submerged the bodies in a bog to preserve them and then later put them together to create these Frankenstein skeletons. The exact reason for this is still unknown, but it's a chilling reminder of the lengths people will go to in order to appease their beliefs or to achieve something extraordinary. An even more terrifying theory that has been proposed is that some ancient and advanced civilization had actually pieced together living beings from different bodies, possibly even trying to create superhumans. While this theory may seem far-fetched, it's hard to deny the eerie and unsettling feeling that comes with looking at these Frankenstein skeletons and imagining the possibilities of their creation. Neanderthal cannibalism. Intriguing evidence suggests that our prehistoric ancestors may have practiced it. Neanderthals might just be some of the most brutal ancestors we've ever encountered. In 1994, a group of Neanderthal remains were discovered in the El Cidron region of Spain, and what they revealed was both disturbing and terrifying. The group of 12 individuals, including children, teenagers, and adults, were all victims of a brutal attack by another band of Neanderthals. But this wasn't just a random act of violence, it was a case of cannibalism. The bones showed signs of being broken and scraped, indicating that they were used for food. To make matters even more chilling, the bones that were discovered show signs of being chewed on, confirming that they were indeed cannibalized. This discovery goes against the common belief that Neanderthals were a peaceful, primitive race. Instead, it paints a much darker picture of a brutal and savage society. The cause of the attack is still unknown, but what we do know is that cannibalism was a regular occurrence for these ancient beings. It's clear that our prehistoric relatives may have been a lot more terrifying than we ever thought possible, and it might just be good that they're not around today. Terracotta Army. The complex contains approximately 8,000 life-sized terracotta warrior statues. If you've ever seen that one scary movie aptly titled The Mummy, you might remember the creepy army of clay soldiers coming to life to terrorize the world. Well, believe it or not, that movie was actually inspired by a real and terrifying discovery made by archaeologists. In 1974, farmers in China stumbled upon an underground vault containing a massive army of life-size terracotta soldiers, horses, and chariots. These figures were created over 2,000 years ago to protect the tomb of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang. But what's truly alarming about this discovery is the fact that each soldier has a unique facial expression, ranging from angry to sad to even terrifying. Some speculate that this suggests the soldiers were once real people who were turned into terracotta figures to protect the emperor in the afterlife. While this theory may never be confirmed, the terracotta army remains one of the most chilling and mysterious archaeological finds in history. With rumors of hauntings and curses surrounding this chilling find, it's easy to see why it scares even bold scientists. Alien Skulls Scientists in Mexico revealed what they said were the corpses of aliens. When scientists first discovered these freaky skulls in a Mexican graveyard, they thought they had stumbled upon evidence of alien life. However, as they dug deeper, they soon realized that these alien skulls were not from outer space, but rather the result of an ancient practice called cranial deformation. This practice involved binding an infant's malleable skull between two boards, resulting in a cone-shaped head. But what is the purpose of this 
bizarre practice. While there is no definitive answer, it's believed that it could have been a sign of elevated social status or a way to distinguish between different groups within a civilization. The 13 deformed skulls found in the Sonora grave also had dental mutilations, indicating a possible association with ritualistic practices. While it's not as eerie as finding evidence of extraterrestrial life, these alien skulls serve as a chilling reminder of the strange and often brutal traditions of our ancestors. It's creepy to think that this was a common practice in many cultures, and we can only imagine what other secrets lie buried in our past. Vampire from Venice. 25 years old, also showing signs of the condition of vampirism mentioned. Meet the Chilling Vampire of Venice, a discovery made by archaeologists in 2006 that adds a whole new level of terror to the legend of Dracula. When excavating a mass grave near Venice, they came across a skull with a brick forced inside its mouth. This was a common technique used by people in medieval times to stop the spread of diseases like the plague, which many believed were caused by vampires. This shocking finding sheds light on the widespread fear and belief in vampires during this time period. It also shows the extreme measures people took to protect themselves from these supposed creatures of the night. While we now know that vampires don't actually exist, this discovery reminds us of how powerful and deeply ingrained our beliefs, fears, and superstitions can be, even in the face of science and reason. And some theorists believe that maybe, just maybe, there might still be some truth to the legend of the vampire after all. If this is the case, then we might not be the apex predator on the planet and could very well be at risk of a terrifying encounter with a real-life vampire. So next time you're strolling through the streets of Venice, watch out for any suspiciously brick-filled mouths. Aztec sacrifices. Imagine if human sacrifices were a normal part of your everyday life. Well, for the Aztecs, it really was. By now, it should be no secret that the Aztecs were known for their bloody and terrifying sacrificial rituals. These rituals were believed to appease the gods and bring prosperity and good fortune to the Aztec Empire. One of the most horrifying discoveries made by archaeologists was a vault in Mexico City containing the remains of 12 humans and various animals, including pumas, wolves, and eagles. It is believed that these individuals were sacrificed in a ceremony that included both humans and animals, creating a horrific scene of bloodshed. This is just one of the many examples of the extreme sacrifices made by the Aztecs, which included tearing the hearts out of living victims and beheading them on a sacrificial stone. These acts were seen as necessary for the survival of the Aztec Empire, but to modernize, they are a chilling reminder of the cruelty and violence of our past. It's just freaky to think that these grisly sacrifices were carried out in the very place we walk and live today. Heslington Brain experts couldn't understand how this brain survived 2,600 years. Okay, this one is going to be a bit disgusting, so hold on tight. While working on a dig in England in 2008, archaeologists found something they never expected, a skull with a perfectly preserved brain inside. This discovery, known as the Heslington brain, is the oldest preserved brain ever found and dates back to the 6th century BC. The skull belonged to a man between the ages of 26 and 45 who was decapitated by a sharp blade. But what's truly baffling is how the brain was able to remain intact for so long. It's believed that the skull was buried in peat, which provided the perfect conditions for preservation. But this also means that this man's brain had to withstand a variety of environmental conditions over centuries, something that seems almost impossible. The Heslington brain continues to astound and puzzle researchers to this day, and it serves as a reminder of just how little we know about the human body and its capabilities. How did this mysterious brain survive for so long? It's just another chilling mystery left behind by our ancestors, and one that might have a darker answer than we'd like. There's a reason this brain has baffled scientists, and it's because the truth is clearly terrifying. Face down none. One out of the nearly 92 bodies uncovered happened to be buried face down. In one bizarre and controversial archaeological dig, 92 skeletons were uncovered at Littlemore Priory, a medieval home for nuns in Oxford, England. Among the remains was a woman buried face down, a punishment reserved for the wicked or those accused of witchcraft. As it turns out, the nuns at Littlemore Priory were rumored to engage in immoral behavior, including having affairs with priests. This scandalous discovery of a possible deviant 
Sergeant Nunn, buried in a shameful manner, has raised questions about the treatment of women during this time period and the strict expectations of morality they were held to. It also serves as a reminder that even in the seemingly peaceful setting of a medieval priory, there may have been dark secrets and hidden scandals lurking beneath the surface. This horrifying and brutal burial of a woman who was possibly persecuted for simply being a woman speaks volumes about the harsh reality of life in medieval England and the injustices faced by those who didn't conform to societal norms. Curse of the Pharaohs. At least 13 people who were present at the tomb's opening died soon after, and a rumor about the curse of the pharaoh. When King Tut's tomb was first discovered in 1923, it became the center of a series of mysterious and terrifying events that would come to be known as the curse of the pharaohs. Several members of the excavation team suddenly died or suffered from strange illnesses. And people who have discovered those tombs actually ended up dying weird ways leading many to believe that Tutankhamun's tomb was cursed. The archaeologists had somehow triggered a deadly curse. From mysterious deaths to strange coincidences. But then, quite suddenly, people started dying. The curse has captured the imagination and fears of people around the world. But is there any truth behind the curse, or is it simply a coincidence? Some experts point out that many ancient tombs contain inscriptions warning of curses, so it's not surprising that these events occurred. Others believe that the tomb may have contained toxic substances, a sudden release of toxic gas mixed with fungus, that caused the deaths of the archaeologists. Whatever the explanation, the curse of the pharaohs remains a chilling and intriguing mystery. It's very possible that some advanced technology or even some curse was used to guard King Tut's tomb, but we will never know. One thing is for sure, however, and that's the fact that nobody wants to go near the tomb. Iron Hearts. Kengo was presented with his heart at the convent, where she subsequently spent the rest of her life. Then when she died, the organ was buried alongside her. Okay, maybe this is too romantic to include, but let's talk about the embalmed hearts discovered in a convent in Rennes, France. In 2017, archaeologists stumbled upon a collection of hearts inside heart-shaped urns while excavating the convent's chapel. But what makes this discovery so eerie is the fact that the hearts were completely encased in lead, allowing them to be incredibly well-preserved even after nearly 400 years. Researchers were even able to run tests on the hearts to determine the health of their pre Previous owners. While the idea of preserving a loved one's heart may seem strange to us now, it was a common practice in the 17th century for wealthy families to keep the hearts of their deceased loved ones as a way of honoring and remembering them. But there's something undeniably creepy about these embalmed hearts, especially when you consider that they were left with the bodies of their loved ones in a convent. Love may know no bounds, but perhaps these hearts should have stayed buried with their owners.